Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa for those of you who don't know me. I thought I would do an everyday makeup routine while answering a few questions about myself. I feel like the last few vlogs I kind of just jumped right in. So I thought why not answer a few questions to help you guys get to know me a little bit better and yeah, I'll share my favorite makeup products. I'll link everything in the bio for you guys below. So let's jump right in. I already did my moisturizer because I just got out of the shower. I came back from the gym. Now I'm gonna go in with the Willetta and this is the skin food. You could buy it online, I think on like Amazon, even Whole Foods has it. And I basically just put this on my like dry patches that I know are super dry. I recently picked up the Tower 28. This is a daily facial spray and I so far love it that I think I will continue to buy. I will then put on the Laneige lip mask and I'll basically just do this to prep my lips for after when I put on my liner. I feel like in the winter my skin and my lips are so dry. I'll start off with my first question, where do you live? So I live about two hours away from downtown Toronto. Um, so in 2021, after like the whole COVID thing, we moved into this house. So we were originally living closer to the city in a condo, but I feel like with COVID, we were like stuck in those like four same walls that like we needed a change. So we put our condo for sale and sold it. That was like when the market was like super hot. And then we were kind of looking at our options. So it was either to buy a house in the same area that we were living in, but we would need to completely reno the whole thing. And Mike is just not a lover of renovations. So I feel like that wasn't really our best option. Um, and then we kind of decided that moving out to the country was our best option. And for a few reasons, I think we were thinking long-term, where do we wanna have a family and raise our future kids? And I think that we really wanted our kids to grow up in a small town, small community where it's safe, where they can kind of have the childhood that we have, like they're always gonna be outside playing with their friends and we don't have to like really worry. Um, also, we love the outdoors. Like Mike loves fishing, he loves hunting. And like now that I picked up horseback riding, that's so fun. We love taking the dog out on like walks and like to the park and like all of these fields. So I feel like that was like a huge factor as well. Um, and then also another reason why we chose to move out here was we loved the builder that we found. I was like really particular with what I wanted for this house. And with our builder, we were able to choose kind of what we wanted. So I wanted a bungalow, I wanted a specific floor layout i wanted a certain brick color um with a lot of the builders closer to the city they're kind of like these like cookie cutter homes which is what i did not want so we kind of just got everything we wanted here so it just kind of worked out and yeah we love it here so much i i think it was like the best decision we've ever made i definitely think we'll be here for like 10 to 15 years it's like our in-between home Mind you, I said we were going to be at our condo for like five years and then we were there for like, I think two or three. So I always say you can have like a plan in mind, but sometimes that plan will change, but it's always good to have like a goal. Okay, now let's get into makeup. I'm going to start off with the Say, and this is the Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. So I'll usually use this as like my end highlighter if I'm going out, but if I want like an overall glowy look, I'll use this after my skin prep to kind of have a glowy base. And I'll just kind of put that on my skin and rub it in with my hands. Honestly, it gives the prettiest glowy look. I'm obsessed with this. Next, I will use the Kosas and I get the shade medium neutral 220. In the summer months, I like to use the House Labs, but this has been my go-to. I've been buying it over and over and I definitely recommend this. 
And I'll just apply this with a beauty blender. I know some people prefer to use a brush, so I really think it's just personal preference, but for me, I find that the beauty blender works best. And moving on to the second question I kind of prepared is, are you married? Yes, I am married to Mike. You probably saw him in one of my vlogs. We've been together since high school, so we're like, high school sweethearts um we've been together for like 12 or 13 years now and yeah we met in high school and the rest is kind of history um we got engaged in 2021 so funny enough we were just moving into this house like we just came no furniture nothing it was like night and we're like okay let's go kind of like just see the house, you know, we're so excited. We finally get to move in. And as we're like entering the house, I see like through the windows illuminating like lights because we have like a long entryway from our front door to like the back of the house. I didn't see much. I just saw these like lights lighting up through the window. So I was so confused. Obviously we didn't have curtains at the time. And then I walked in and there were all of these flowers and candles. And yeah, so we literally got engaged when we moved into this house, which was super fun, a super busy chapter of our lives. But yeah, it was a fun, exciting time for us. Um, we got married July 22nd of last year. I've always wanted to get married in this barn since I was young. I literally had it on my vision board for years and we got engaged and we went to that venue. I literally asked for their availability and we booked it. Like I didn't see any other venues because I was like, I knew I wanted to get married there. And it was the most beautiful day. I swear last summer it was raining all the time. And luckily on our wedding day, it was like beautiful weather. I couldn't ask for like anything better. It was like perfect. And especially having like an outdoor wedding, the weather was like a crucial aspect of it. So yeah, I was like praying to God every day for a year for good weather and it all worked out. So yeah, dream wedding. And we've almost been married for like a year now. I mean like come the summer, but I feel like because we've been together for so long and like we live together too, the only thing that really changed was like now calling him my husband and having like the additional ring, but yeah. Next I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I get the shade Light 2 in Vanilla. And I've also been using this product for years. And again, I will just bring this out with the Beauty Blender. Next question, what do you do for work? So I actually work for my family business and then in 2021, I started my own brand. It's called Golden Lingerie and it is women's intimate. So like bralettes and underwears. We have a ribbed collection, which comes in three core colors. So black, white, and like a chestnut brown, which is probably my favorite. And then last year we launched the Everyday Seamless Undies in the same three colors that can be paired with the ribbed bralettes. So like a perfect match. So if you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check it out. We're a small but growing business and we have some exciting products that we're launching this year, which I'm so excited for. So stay tuned, they will be coming shortly. If you end up buying, please post and tag us and I will feature you on our page. Next up, which is my Holy Grail product. Like if there's one product I could have in my makeup bag, it would be this Dibs. Um, I think it's like a contour blush stick. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I get shade two. Um, if you're in Canada, I bought this on Revolve. I don't think they have it in Sephora yet, but it's this like gorgeous bronzer. And then on the back is this like pretty blush. I love it so much. I keep rebuying it. So this one's a new one and I basically just contour my face.
and then I will use the It Cosmetics brush to kind of blend it out. Why did you decide to start YouTube? I have wanted to do YouTube for years now, like not even kidding, years. I would send my friends and family like Snapchat videos of my unboxings, like my day-to-day -day life, like pretending I'm vlogging through Snapchat, but like I would always be too nervous or embarrassed to ever kind of get started and post on YouTube. I also feel like I'm a very private person and that kind of like made it hard to imagine me like posting my life on YouTube. But I just felt like come 2024, I'm like, I always said I wanted to do YouTube. Like, why am I just so scared? Like, just do it. I feel like the hardest part is getting started. Like even my first vlog, I filmed it and I'm like, I am not putting this up. Like there's no way. And then I did it and now I'm like, I love doing this. So yeah, I don't know if like from my first video to now, if you can like tell through the camera that I'm like less nervous, but yeah, I'm like so glad I started. Literally had a photo of a Canon G7X on my vision board for 2024. I bought it, I got started and I'm like so happy I did. Um, I also feel that it took me this long because I was always so embarrassed and nervous of what people would think. But to be honest, I have like a really close knit group of family and friends whose opinion is the only thing that matters to me. Like I don't really care about like anyone from high school or these people that I've never seen in years, like what they might say or like think of me. Like I truly don't care. And it, I feel like it took me so long and like I had to grow up to realize that. and be comfortable and confident with myself to just like, again, not care about those people's opinions. Like it's not too late to start, so. So now that I blended that out, I'm gonna use the blush. And it literally is smooth like butter. And I just have this like random brush that I'm gonna use to blend it out. And then I'm gonna go in with this Patrick Ta. It's the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo, and I use a color she sculpted. And I'll just kind of add more bronzer just because I am a little bit white in the winter. And again, bring it down the neck. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury, and I just use one fair. I'll kind of just set everything. So when I'm not working, what are some things I like to do? Well, I would definitely say my favorite thing to do is spend time with my family and friends. I have a brother and sister who I'm really close to that will always hang out, um, especially on the weekends when we're all free. So I like doing that. Now that I started horseback riding, which I've mentioned in a couple other vlogs, I love horseback riding honestly i just feel like when i'm at the barn i'm not thinking about anything else i'm not stressing or having anxiety about anything i'm literally just there in the moment and like learning i feel like as we're older we don't really try new things or like start a new sport or anything like that and i just feel like again if there's something that you want to try you're not too old to do it like just do it it's so fun it's so worth it and at least you got to say that you tried even if after you don't end up liking it. I also love like home decor and just like organizing my house or like doing a declutter. Like there's always something to do in the home, which I know call me crazy. Like I'm so excited for like spring cleaning and everything. I also love hosting and cooking with friends. I feel like in the summer, especially we have like backyard dinners and like with the uni pizza oven. And it's so fun to like just gather together, cook a good meal with your friends and yeah, just kind of hang out. So I love doing that as well. I also love planning trips. Um, last year we went to Greece for our honeymoon, which was so nice. And then we actually planned a fall trip to Alberta, which I wish I was vlogging at the time because that would have been such a fun trip to take you guys along with. And yeah, I loved it so much. Um, this year we don't have any trips currently planned. 
I said we weren't gonna do a trip this year, but I feel like I always need at least one trip a year. Um, just for like a different change of scenery. So yeah, I would love to do like New York or like I wanna do 38 in Florida or even like Aspen in the fall. So no plans yet, but you never know, things can change. Now I'm gonna go and kind of do my eyebrows. So I've never been somebody to like fill my brows just because they are already dark. I feel like if I were to fill them, they'd kind of be like, wow. To use the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel, which I picked up recently and I've been loving. It doesn't leave like any of that white residue, which I feel like a lot do. So I definitely recommend it. I've heard good things about the refi one, but I have yet to try it. So if you have, let me know how that is. But I do really like this one. So I'm no makeup professional in any way. Um, I feel like in 2024, one of my goals was to get better at doing my makeup, especially eyeshadow. I feel like I've never been an eyeshadow girly and I really want to because I feel like it'll emphasize my eye. So if there is a palette you recommend, please let me know in the comments below. I'm just gonna do a little bit of like black eyeshadow just on my liner just to kind of make my eyes a little bit darker. I picked up this like nude sticks. It is the magnetic eye pencil and it comes with three um, little pencils here in different colors. I'm gonna use the color nudity and it's kind of like just this shimmery soft tone and i love nude sticks because it's just like an easy kind of pencil and a lot of them are like duo so you could use it on like your eyes and your lips and i'll basically just put and then i'm going to add a little bit of bronzer as well so how would I describe my style? So in terms of like my home style, I feel like I'm like a little bit like country modern. Like I have the woods, the vintagey feel, um, but then I also have like lots of like white and bright tones that make it kind of feel a bit more modern, but I love my neutrals. I am trying to get into more like colors and textures and patterns just because it could kind of start to feel a little cold. In terms of like clothing style, I love a baggy fit. Like give me a sweatsuit, especially since I work from home, I love a baggy fit, even like baggy jeans. But I also like to dress up. So if I'm going out, like give me a good bag, give me some good shoes. Like if there's something you need to know about me, I love bags, shoes, and jackets. Like I'll buy hundreds of them. Um, but yeah, I also am trying to stay away from like fast fashion trends and i'm really being like conscious about what i'm purchasing so if it's going to last me a long time is it a piece that i could see myself wearing in a few years so yeah i'm really trying to build my capsule wardrobe this year so i just use the tweezer man eyelash curler from sephora and honestly i've tried so many mascaras from sephora like i've spent so much money on mascara and i just feel like the l'oreal one is always the best like from shoppers and I just got the telescopic lift, which I really like. And now to finish off for my lips, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury in Love Trap. And then I'll finish off with a gloss. So I'm gonna use the Rode peptide lip treatment i also love the summer fridays like tinted ones so literally anything that's glossy so that is the final makeup look so this kind of just gives me life elevates my look and yeah if you guys try any of the products let me know what you think in the comments below maybe you already have them in your makeup bag but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that q a and got to know me a little bit more if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. I always love hearing from you guys. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next vlog.